Running as an independent or third party candidate is difficult in Pennsylvania, but as political editor John Delano reports, there is a new party trying to break in. The vast majority of voters in this state register as Democrats or Republicans, but there are other parties often on the ballot. Libertarians, Green, Socialist Workers. Now comes another choice, the Keystone Party. I consider us as a more of a coalition of independents. Gus Tallis is the chair of the Keystone Party, which has qualified candidates for governor and senator and several other offices in the November general election. He says his party is into problem solving. When the voters are talking to our candidates, they already know that if the candidate is part of the Keystone Party, they support issues like ranked choice voting, independent citizens commission, part-time legislation, term limits, and so on and so on. One of the Keystone Party's candidates is Joe Solosky, who is running for governor. We don't have a, uh, a revenue problem here in Pennsylvania. We've got a spending problem. Solosky, who lived in Indiana Township for many years before moving to Center County, wants to cut the state budget 5% each year. Another focus, reforming state government. I think we are the, the most progressive when it comes to reform. For example, says Solosky, both parties violate election integrity by denying voters a choice in elections. They do everything they can to keep Keystone and every third party out there off the ballot. You vote for party, some people vote for platform, and some people vote for more choices. Traditionally, third party candidates, they get the vote of the people who want more choices. Multiple candidates are expected for both governor and senator on this November's ballot. In addition to Joe Solosky running for governor, the Keystone Party also has a candidate for U.S. Senate, Daniel Wasmer. John Delano, KDKA News.